The shooting here is reigniting calls to debate the nation's gun laws. Before the massacre, we spoke with Republican Congressman Steve Scalise about gun control. Last week's interview for 60 Minutes was his first since he was critically wounded in June by a gunman at a congressional baseball practice. In a portion you did not see on 60 Minutes, the House Majority Whip stated his support for gun owners' rights. But you're now a victim of gun violence. Yeah, but I'm also saved by uh, well-trained people who had guns to, to shoot back. And what, whatever the weapon's going to be, I mean, if it's, if it's not a gun, it'll be a hand grenade or it'll be a, a knife or an ax. Uh, you know, I think what's important to focus on is that we have strong rights in this country and, you know, we, uh, we're protected by them. Do you think all congressmen and women should be able to have concealed carry permits? I'm a strong believer in concealed carry legislation. It comes with proper training, and I do think it's important to remember uh, that if you're going to have a firearm, it's, it's important that you know how to use it and how to protect your family so that uh, doesn't get into the wrong hands. But it's, it's every day in America you see people use their firearms to protect them against a criminal. Do you wish you'd had a gun? Um, you know, I'm on a baseball field playing. You, you're probably not going to be... Putting a putting a sidearm on when you're uh, when you're fielding balls, but uh, you know it would have been uh, I think it would have been a disaster if if the security detail wasn't there with their weapons to uh, to take down the shooter. You know it's important to point out uh, that with Scalise and what happened, that was with the, a rifle that in 10 minutes four people were shot. In this instance, the gunman had at least two fully automatic weapons that had been modified to make them fully automatic, and the amount of damage he was able to carry out in 10 minutes, uh, uh, truly unimaginable from those, those rooms just above my shoulder. So, but the reason we played part of that Scalise uh, discussion is because being a victim of gun violence, does it change kind of the debate now on Capitol Hill in Congress, will they look at policy solutions? And those are going to be some of the questions that are that are moving forward. Jeff? And there's also the question of how he got that arsenal into a hotel room, apparently without raising uh, much suspicion. Nora, thank you.